Oh, all right. I have a story. It's sto It's story time. Um <laughs> You know what? Well, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Something just happened to me right now. <clears throat> yeah, as you can see, that's where I'm at. Why won't it focus? Why didn't have to do autofocus? All right, so you see where I'm at. Here, let's talk about this right quick. So my lines, right? <clears throat> okay, here. Remember when I told you that I had that accident and I bought, what did I do with it? Oh, well, I bought me another uh, pigtail. So I said, when I do my 34 here, I was, uh, I was gonna fix my pigtail, right? It's sunny out here. It's like almost 90 degrees. Um, so I bought a pigtail at a Love that cost me $120 at Paul, uh, Paul's Valley, Oklahoma. So I drove from there all the way to Iowa 80. Wait, no, 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 that's not right. Is it? Yeah, that's right. That's right. <clears throat> so I'm here doing my 34 hours. So I put the new pigtail in, right, to make sure that all of my lights are going to work. But this light right there still didn't work. I said, well, I'm freaking, um, I got a brand new freaking pigtail. Why won't that light work? So I went to go check it out. It was unplugged. When did it get unplugged? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pre-trip, post-trip. I do. But then again, I always drive during the days. I'm a solo driver. You know, I'm a solar, solar. Solar, solar, soulless. <sighs> so I get here. So what I did was, right, I thought I had electrical tape. But I did. So I taped this up right here. That's gorilla tape. And it's doing pretty good. And then I taped it up again right here. So this is still working. So my lights work now. So I have that extra line for emergency reasons. Now, I'm thinking about going back and buying a, the other tri-pack like that with the two hoses and the airline, I mean the two airlines and the electrical out of this TA. And I think it's like $179 for both of them. I mean, for just one. Whereas I think I did it at the York Petro and they charged me $300. But I, uh, they installed it and they also had to do some other stuff. All right, so I'm here, right? Okay, he can't see me. <clears throat> he can't see me. So I walk into the fuel liner and there's a guy, a black guy, with a mask on, talking to an Arabic or an Indian guy, I don't know. But he's looking at me as I'm walking in. So I make eye contact, look away. Eye contact, look away. All right? I go in there, get my chicken, get my Pepsi, because you know I'm a Pepsi guy, right? All right, yeah, y'all got that Swift in there. So, so as I'm ordering that food, he comes up to me, he's like, hey man, do you know anything about trucks? And I'm looking at him like, he said, you're looking at me like, what you want? I'm like, nah, I'm, just, I'm listening, right? Like, what do you mean? What do you, like, what do I know about trucks? He's like, do you know anything about lights? And I held up my headlights, because I need new headlights. He was like, oh, okay. He's like, so can you help? He said, my lights aren't working. And I was like, well, you know, by the headlights, that's the quickest way to find out if it's the light bulb or not. He went on, and then I said, so I was like, all right, hold on, wait. I said, are you a company driver? He said, yeah. I said, why are you talking to me then? Call your company up. I mean, that's what I do as a company driver. You know, shit, I drive for them. They're gonna pay to get their truck fixed. And he just started talking and rambling. And he wasn't listening to me. I was like, well, man, I mean, you know, 
I was a company guy. I'm not gonna pay for anything. I was like, right here, they got like 15 services. I said, are you down for a 10 or a 34? I'm down for a 10. This is the perfect time to go get your truck looked at. You're down for a 10, you had nothing else to do, and he, he just kept on talking and talking and talking. I wasn't even listening, because I'm, I'm like telling him. And then, um, what else did I tell him? <sighs> I said, you're a company driver, you're here at the TA. You're down for 10. Oh, and he said he's going to go to California. I said, oh, it's simple, man. Just drive during the day. You don't have to worry about your lights. And there's plenty of TAs and petrols from here to, to Cali. But this is the kicker. I didn't, I didn't say this earlier and I forgot. He had on a mask, right? But it looked like somebody clocked him right here in the nose. It looked like it was a deep gash wound. So I'm thinking to myself, is he going to get me to go to his truck so he can rob me? I, I'm just thinking like that. We're on TA's property. I don't know. But he had that big gash on his nose. I don't trust him. And and for a simple light, are you right here at the freaking TA. Like, what, what what is your problem? Why not go there? Like, it just doesn't make any sense. I don't know. So I'm glad I didn't go. Man, he might think I'm boo-boo the fool. Like, you got to think. About, I mean, I wanted to go help him. I just couldn't, if he didn't have that gas right there, I probably would have, but he had that gas. Man, I'm like, maybe he doesn't want to spend the money. I don't know, man, it's, it's too many people out here trying to get over on people, and I'm like, it's too much work. Just do what you gotta do. I don't even know if he was a truck driver. But anyway. That's the story that I had to tell. It's my story. It's my truth. I don't care what anybody else says. But uh, trust your gut, y'all. Don't be out here just helping any and everybody just because. Now I'm about to go in my truck and watch some billions. Uh, and eat my chicken. Yeah.